Okay, I'm going to begin with this, and this is going to be very out there and obtuse. You can consider this a test question. I'm not going to give you any hints. It's very unlikely you're going to fucking figure this out. You could, and if you did, you would know that you figured it out. Um, in this video, you're going to hear me talk about numerous fucking subjects. One of these things that I highlight in this video leads to something connected to where you and I are and what this is. And our masters clearly fucking know about it but I've never found somebody who understands it. I've read any and every fucking book I can find having to do with it. None of them touch on it. It's always the same superficial fucking fluff, which doesn't have to do with what I'm alluding to. If one of you guys do figure this out, contact me. Again, this, how vague is this, right? I mean, it's very unlikely. It's very unlikely. But I am calling attention to something that does lead to that, and that has to do with Seminar 7. I say it at some point in this video, and I was going to clean it up and make it really presentable and give you a bunch of visual aids so the algorithm shows you stuff and you guys care because tits and explosions. But I didn't. And now I think I might have forgot what I was getting at. <laughs> what the fuck was I just going to tell you? Oh yeah, in this video, somewhere in here, I string together a whole bunch of shit. It's all connected. It's all interconnected. Don't take my word for it. Look into it. In other words, don't buy into it. Look into it. Open your eyes instead of your mouth. Don't confuse entertainment with research. Research takes time, grit, energy, etc., etc., and you're going to fuck shit up more often than you're going to get it right. If you stay with it, you will start to see things that other fucking duds out there will not. And clearly people do not see anything, so you might want to take this adventure. It's important. Um, but the point of this is, why am I showing you all these dots? And you haven't seen it somewhere else. But now that I leave it online, you'll probably have somebody else that will see this and will just run with it. That's how this shit works. It's also why I'm not showing people, for the most part, bigger things. In other words... The the, uh, the roots to reality these days because I've been asking people to keep up and do things that I've been asking long term and people have not done them. I've asked people to answer test questions which they apparently can't answer. You can if you try. It just takes time again. Um, recently asked a yes or no question that wasn't hard to chime in on. One person did and I thank you very much. The other kids out there that saw the fucking video, what the fuck is wrong with you? All right, you assholes. <laughs> um, a bunch of thoughts bouncing around in my head. Um, one of which is thinking about showing you something that I suspect is lesser magic. It has to do with my least favorite subject under the sun. So if you guys have been keeping up, you know it relates to Seminar 8. It's in the programming. It's been in the programming a long time. And it's dressed up in a couple different ways. I'm just getting home. And <clears throat> one more second. I'm trying to get these boots off. Oh, it's been a day. Um, it's dressed up in the program in two different ways, typically speaking. And one of the most ridiculous uh, examples of it, if you guys wasted time on Coast to Coast, you probably heard about it. There were time travelers who told us all about the future, which was garbage. It was our masters telling us what's coming long term. Keep in mind, this dates back to the 90s at least. Maybe the 80s, but I'm pretty sure the 90s in particular. Um, I can't remember if it bridges the Art Bell days when Coast to Coast was still mildly entertaining, opposed to the George Nori bullshit where it just went... And still, it's all propaganda, it's all fluff, it's just adult fairy tales. Um, <clears throat> yeah. The reason I'm mentioning this is... God, there are so many movies having to do with this. And the example that I want to tell you guys about is something from the small screen. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is something I don't think people have picked up on, because most people think predictive programming is, an, is a thing, because that's what they were told to repeat. Um, 
What do I got here? I guess I got a black mug and a white mug. If you guys can see that, but they both look black. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. So you got the small screen, right, on the box programming. And typically speaking, if I'm not mistaken, this is where our masters are going to tell you about shit far in advance. Or at least that's how it used to work. Now they're ramping things up, but that's how it used to work if you dance back and you start looking at programming. If you start seeing it on the big screen, usually that means it's around the bend, especially these days. But take that with a grain of salt, because there still are some examples of large scale or uh, the big budget movies, or maybe they weren't that big budget, but they were on the big screen with some, you know, names in them. Um, I can't remember who was in the one I'm thinking of. I can't remember. What I was going to do is probably screenshot some of this crap or screen record things so I can show you what I'm talking about. Let's do that. So the subject of tonight's horse shit, I'm replacing what I said. It's multifaceted. I said twofold originally because I was thinking of two of these events, but really there's a chain of events involved in this. Um, either way, people are blissfully unaware of this shit and it matters. Um, and a movie just came out starring Bargain Bin Matt Damon, and I guess he married that gal who's in uh, Interview with a Vampire, Interview with a Vampire, depending on which world line you think you're from or what you remember versus what's being shopped around today and how things are different. It's questionable. Um, the Second Civil War movie. See, this one's far older. And a lot of you probably have never heard of it. But it's no different from what our masters just shit out. I mean, in terms of what's what. 2024 Civil War movie. This garbage. And it's because these things are coming. Coast to coast, time traveler, Civil War. Was it John Teeter? Teeter? Is that who they claimed? I can't remember. And remember, Google's shit now. And there were multiple fucking alleged time travelers that graced these uh, broadcasts, you know, containing adult fairy tales, propaganda, nonsense. Just the same. I heard it come up more than once, and I remember it being associated with more than one asshole. Um, so take it with a grain of salt. And if you guys weren't privy to this crap, um, here's another one real fast, because it's connected to this. <clears throat> Let me think if... I can't remember the name of the movie. Hugh Jackman, sci-fi, flooded city. Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. That film. Where all the cities are flooded and the, the sun's too hot and you got to do this, that, and the other thing. This is connected to it. This was also shopped around with the, you know, assholes who were likely CIA assets and or whack jobs that were paid off to, you know, promote an agenda under the guise of a character and or just a fucking Muppet out there who believed this shit. There's a little off their rocker. And or somebody who's put through, you know, the, the sub-projects of MK Ultra, which <laughs> did exist and still does exist. And it's one more of those things that never should have existed, but what the fuck do I know? On that subject, I'm pretty sure this is the other guy's name. Jose Delgado Research. Is this right? Yeah, it's this guy. Scary son of a bitch. If you don't know who I'm talking about, this is another one of the guys that has to do with, so to speak, psychic driving and what all that crap uh, is associated with. Today, the superficial fluff that people talk about because people don't know what they're talking about is, uh, what is it, uh, brainwashing. But really, it's psychic driving and more, or in particular, it has to do with this guy. My brain's working far too fast. My mouth can't keep up. E-W-E-N Cameron Psychic Driving. This is a guy that shit that out. 
And the CIA adopted his research. They carried on with his research, and they paid off his test subjects who suffered horrible fucking shit because of his research. And this is what brainwashing is. It's psychic driving, but you've probably never heard that before. Unless you've been hanging out with me. Um, now, dancing all this back, our masters have been telling us what's coming. They're, they're telling us what's on the fucking schedule. The other one having to do with this is... Made for TV movie, The Day After. And if you've never seen this, you should watch this. This shit's haunting. It is not fun. But it does have to do with what people would consider, you know, the future. Which is also just a fucking joke. But that's a story for another day. But yeah, you should watch this if you've never seen it. Um, another one you should watch is... Michael Bean, The Divide. Which I couldn't remember years ago. And somebody who was following one of the channels I moderate helped me remember it. And I appreciate wh whoever that was. I can't remember now either. But thank you. Um, if you're still, you know, haunting the fucking account. <laughs> you never know. Um, now, I brought all this crap up because there's something on the small screen. Which I didn't watch because it's my least favorite subject. <laughs> but there's a lot of lesser magic in there if you're paying attention called this Jericho TV show nuclear events this stuff and specifically it says 23 or 24 major cities you can find a list of these and it's associated with oh I had it the other day is it Blackwood black no I have screenshots of it now I can't think of what it was Jericho TV show Nuclear Black Carnival? Will it think for me? Cancel. No, 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 no. Maybe it's not Black something. I thought it was. Or is. I might have to go back through my screenshots and splice something else in. Um, it's one of the episodes in particular where they show a billboard and they point out some of the things, if I'm not mistaken. And again, you can also find a list of these. This jazz. Blackjack. There we go. It is black something. So Blackjack Fairgrounds. Not Carnival. <laughs> this shit. And I think this is the sites that were struck, but I might be wrong. That also could be the, the new regime. Um, another thing you should look up, and this is, this is real, mind you. Um, Interparliamentary Union. You've probably never heard of this. Most of you probably haven't. You should look that up. Um, it outlines, it clearly outlines the potentates, who will be in charge of what, where they're going to set up shop in terms of how this shit's going to run. And this is likely a loose outline. But what the fuck do I know? Uh, whoops. Let me get this. There's something else in the way. Give me a second that I'm recording with and it won't fuck off. Go away. There we go. Let's try this. I'm trying to do something with your thing. Just work. It's not working. Let me try it again. Jericho, which sites were nuked? Blackjack. Fairgrounds. I almost said carnival again. I was hoping it was going to bring up what I found the other day. So I don't have to dig it out. I'm being lazy. Went through a bunch of these. If I click on it, it will probably tell me too. I don't know if that's one of them. Nuclear fallout map. There you go. There you go. So, if this is to believe, be believed, you know what I mean, as, or be considered as potential lesser magic, this is a pretty decent outline of what's what. And Jericho, if I'm not mistaken, is supposed to be near Denver, if you want a location for the setting of the initial show. Um, yeah. Food for thought, what the fuck do I know? I hate fear porn. This stuff, like I said, is my least favorite subject. 
but you and I aren't doing anything to uproot the people who are pulling our strings and are capable of doing things along these lines. Whether you believe in nuclear weapons or not, they do have firebombs. They do have fucking things that will murder people on a large scale. And our masters, you know, it's not, they're not, a is it not above, not a blow, blow. I always mix them up in my head. Our masters are willing to murder people is my point for the sake of an act of greater magic, which is a blood sacrifice. This also lends itself to what people are calling it is it's based on an exercise, supposedly dark winter operation. And this is what touches on. I almost forgot. This is part of it. All of these things are part of it and they all get rolled out in stages again on a schedule. But this has to do with the grid going down, the grid being shut off quite literally and people having to fend for themselves. This is where FEMA camps factors in one of the many stages of it, mind you. Um, This also factors into if you want to be part of the FEMA camp and you want us to help you, then you might have to do these things that we ask you like, you know, something I can't say online because it's censored because it's a fucking agenda. (laughs) Please connect the dots. It has to do with 2020, the present day. And all those fucking Muppets that are still, you know, they believe in it. And yet you and I are walking around and we're not dead and we didn't cater to any of that shit. I wonder how that worked. It must just be a coincidence. Clearly it doesn't reflect reality and what they're still on must. (laughs) I rode the bus today with some uh, kids who looked like they were trying to be college gutter punks. And they all had multiple things on their face. Among other things. And it was just it was just fucking hilarious. I mean, this is where things have gone. This is just as good as personally the way I look at tattoos, and some of you may have them. My grandfather did, and he was a sailor, so I I see that as alright. <laughs> I think of bikers, sailors, and whores as being a okay with the tattoo front. Myself, I don't think I should have tattoos. I, I don't think that jives with me. I just don't think it does. And I think the same thing applies to a lot of the kids out there who have tattoos. Um, and it lends itself to the same thing I just complained about. But like I said, what the fuck do I know? I'm on another tangent. Yeah, I mean, well, and I was going to make a really clean presentation for this and try to squeeze it into a one minute. Shouldn't have to do that if you guys actually give a fuck. I know some of you out there do see these things every now and again. Some of you that aren't chiming in. That are just haunting the accounts. What the fuck is wrong with you? (laughs) What the fuck is wrong with you? Those of you out there who do participate. There's only a few of you who do. um, And I'm talking about consistently. Consistently. I don't expect you to jump every single time I ask you to answer a question. I don't. I don't. But over the years, it's still to hear from you sometimes. That's nice to know that there's still a human that's being consistent with this shit. That, I, I thank you for. I really do. I really fucking do. Um, those of you who dropped out, and this is me complaining, of course, so you guys probably tuned out, um, when I don't just hand you things, and you guys just fade into the background, fuck you for that. It's very telling of the lack of character. It's not how things should be. What I'm saying is connect that to this. This is why things are bad. Most people are not invested, which means they're not involved. In other words, sometimes when people complain at me for trying to do the right thing, for barking at people for doing the wrong thing, usually what I'll tell them, oh, I'm so sorry. I have a moral compass and standards. <laughs> 